pancreatic cancer <laughs> was the main thing. Um, I think I can count 11 people within a quarter mile of me that have died of pancreatic cancer. Um, three on my block. Um, there was a lot of bladder cancers. Um, so for me, we had, we had talked to um, the Yavapai County Health Director about doing a study for a cancer cluster. Um, and he had agreed to it when he met with us. And then the next week, he just kind of fell off the face of the earth. We couldn't find him anymore. He wasn't at that job anymore. Um, and that's just kind of where it's, where it's all stayed. When you talk to EPA about health concerns, they're environmental, so they can't really, you know, they can tell you have elevated levels here or there, but as far as getting any kind of study or anything done, um, they're not much help in that area. And then, have you ever spoken to uh, the Agency for Toxic Disease Registry or some ATSDR, what they call? I'm just curious if other agencies have been in the area. Yeah, um, they've been in the area. Um, it just, I don't know if it's the lack of the, the community each voicing their own opinion that, you know, doesn't get it noticed. Um, a lot of people seem to be sick or, you know, so they don't really have extra energy to put out there. They're busy fighting their own battles, but not realizing what they live with is causing it. Um, so that's just kind of where I've run into is finding somebody who can be loud enough to get the attention from them. And so I'm, I'm curious, in addition to the bladder cancer and the pancreatic cancer, is there anything else that you've seen kind of patterns? In the um, there's a lot of breathing issues, um, like my kids. Um, there's been quite a few lung cancers in the area. Um, that's been the main one, I, I would say, the breathing and pancreatic cancer is big. And so it's just been through talking to people that you've kind of been noting yeah. some of these diseases. Yeah. Yeah, you just get out there and start talking to somebody, and um, they say, oh, yeah, my husband has pancreatic cancer. Or, and that's that's been hard because four, four or five of the pancreatic cancer patients were fairly close. I mean, they were, they were neighbors, you know, friends, people who that I went to church with that, you know, their husbands ended up getting sick. And so each one of them want to call and know, you know, what am I doing? What, what attention can I get brought to town? Um, you know, they're trying to look for answers on why their loved ones 